Water is a basic necessity to live, but the state auditor says the nearly 1 million California residents drinking contaminated water with E. coli, excessive amounts of fluoride, and a variety of metals face long-term health problems. Potentially liver failure, kidney failure, I think, um, risk of cancer, so really bad things can come from drinking this water that doesn't meet these quality standards. The audit says the number of failing water systems has continued to rise in the last five years, 418 in 2021. To have nearly 400 water systems that are failing to meet these water quality standards uh, is troubling. Well, it's a problem we've certainly known about for a long time. Jesse uh, Snyder works for a nonprofit, Self Help Enterprises, which provides assistance to the San Joaquin Valley water systems, many in rural disadvantaged communities some run by volunteers. Communities basically are stuck with the ground, the water that's in the ground under their feet. Um, they don't have a lot of options beyond that. That's and why Snyder says they help with navigating the application process for getting state funding. But the audit says it can take years. It found from the time a water board completes an application to the time it actually gets funding could be nearly three years. Many of these water systems are actually very small water systems and they don't always have the internal expertise to get through the application process or to even facilitate the right steps to go forward in terms of improving their water systems. Snyder says the smaller districts who really need the grants are suffering. We talk with people every day, we have great conversations, we have projects moving forward, and then it gets to the point where it's time to fund something. And yeah, it'll take a year or more um, to get a funding agreement in place. And those are lots of days ticking by when folks are drinking contaminated drinking water. Well, the audit found the State Water Resources Board only has nine employees dedicated to helping the thousands of water systems applying for the funding. And Tilden tells me after conducting a statewide survey, many water districts didn't even know these programs were available to get those grants. Reporting live in the newsroom, Michelle Banjur, KCRA 3 News.